right, this is Phil Linton. Welcome back to our continuing coverage from Essential Live. I'm with a very familiar face if you watch our podcasts on YouTube. Neil Davidson, friend of the, the channel, friend of AV Forums, but also Surround Group, and you're here at EA, EI Live. I'm struggling to see that E-I-E-I-O. I've been saying it all day. Um, you're here, you're showing off some product and so on, but for people out there, maybe explain why you're here and what, why this show is important. So um, here at EI Live, Phil, this is the chance that um, yeah, trade suppliers like our company get to show off to our professional customers the various uh, products and solutions that we offer. Um, it's the only chance really the guys in the UK get to have a regional show um, where they can come and see a lot of this cool stuff. So that's why we're here to show off what we can do. And of course there is CDI Expo and there used to be CDI Expo in the UK before sadly it, it moved on to just being a US only show. Um, so this is really the only UK opportunity for you guys to get together? Yeah, as in Europe now we have a massive show um, in Barcelona in February called ISE. A, a giant show, 50,000 people go to it. Um, but it covers residential and commercial, um, so there's a lot of stuff going on there. Um, this is really the only one where we get to show off for the UK guys. There's a few small shows, but this is the big one that we get to bring all of our toys with us. A, a big thing that we've been talking about in the podcast this year, and if you haven't been listening to the podcast, then please do. Um, we've been talking about it almost for the, the, the entire year, and that's the, the whole home AV, how to build a system, integrate, all the rest of it. And I guess for a show like this and an industry like this, it's exciting times because you kind of you still have the very rich clients, and I think people have misconceptions of this industry that it's just rich clients that go and buy DCI cinemas, which is great, but that's not the whole industry, is it? And and again, the price points come down, the point of entry is a lot lower now, and of course you've got all these guys, more companies than ever, who are out there and actually uh, putting this into people's homes. Yeah, I mean, so we saw this over the years that we've been doing this. A lot of technology starts off on like a need-to-have basis. Mm. You have a big house and you want cool lighting control. Um, but that starts to trickle down. I'll be amazed if there's many people watching this that don't have a Philips Hue or something like that in their house. Um, and a lot of the technology that you'll see at a show like this, you know, it, it leverages very similar things. Um, what we think is important is that there are a lot of people who would like to have that technology but would still value a professional installer to take care of it. So that's actually a very active part of the industry as well now. Of course you've got your very high end, mm. but we also have all of this, you know, normal stuff and Wi-Fi and yeah, things that make people's lives better in their houses. Yeah, you, you probably spotted it by now, but there's something really interesting over our, our shoulders here. It's a 21 by 9 display, so Neil, tell us a little bit about this display. Um, this is a pretty incredible display. It's a 105 inch diagonal, 5120 by 2160 uh, resolution display. Um, extremely cinematic. It's made by a company called Layard Planner, um, and a lot of people will probably be familiar with the Planner name. Um, it was a big name that we all knew several years ago. They moved into commercial, but we're very excited to, to bring this product back to our residential customers. Um, here at the show, it's actually surprised a lot of people just what we thought would happen. It is a TV, this is an LCD TV. Um, it's actually calibrated for 300 nits at this minute in time. Um, but what surprised people is that they could have such large scale, but really a straightforward installation process. We hang it on a wall, plug an HDMI into it, and then you have this big thing. Um, what we particularly like about it is it's a really interesting bridge between um, a normal TV and a CinemaScope projection system. It has all the simple sort of installation benefits of a TV, but this really super cool wide aspect. And it's been very noticeable for everyone who's done a demo here at the show, just how different that feels when they're watching a movie. So one of the biggest questions that we've had at the show is what happens if you're actually looking at normal TV on a display like this? Well, it's actually really like a projection system. You can choose. You can either stretch it out to fill the whole screen. A surprising number of people are very happy with that effect. You can crop it so that you crop the top and bottom of the image. Or you can accept that you have the black bars when you see the 16 by 9. And basically what will happen is that the image will expand or contract uh, to fill the height of the screen um, and fill as much of the width as possible based on the content aspect ratio. Um, so really a constant uh, height 
TV system, just the same as a constant height projection system would work. So a display solution like this is very interesting for surround group. It's quite different to anything else that's in the marketplace. Um, and obviously we try to be a little bit different from everyone else. It fills a gap between an entry level projection system and a high end cinema projection system because it has the 21 by nine aspect ratio. Um, a display like this is about 12,000 pounds plus VAT end user cost. So again, it kind of fits in between, you know, your, your good quality projectors and a really high end system because you're not going to be adding a screen or anything like that to that. Now, the brightness that we've got, I think I mentioned already, we've got 300 nits on screen in this particular setup. Makes it ideal for sort of media rooms or more mixed use cinemas um, where there's a lot more ambient light. So this is a really important product for us. For those ambient light situations, smaller cinemas where people are looking for very high quality and basically places where people are looking for a more simplified installation compared to a projection system without losing the cinematic feel.